Hello, this is Yaakov Fein with lesson number 10. We are finishing reading chapter 2 from the book TypeScript quickly. And uh, where is my book? Where is my book? It's somewhere over here. There is a section structural versus nominal type system. And let's talk about this topic today. Let's talk about it. So uh, there are different types systems in different programming languages. The languages such as Java or C Sharp use so-called nominal type system. Uh, any object or a class has some structure to it. If we use a language with a nominal type system, we, can, we say that types are the same, two types are the same if they have the same name. Like, yeah, I created, I define a class customer, and I want to create an instance of it. I will declare a variable of type customer and say new customer. Now, in structural type systems, two types are the same if they have the same structure. Not the name, not necessarily the name, but the structure. And let's see how this works. First, let's go to the Java programming language with a nominal type system. So what do you see in here? You see that I declare the class person, which has one property name. In Java, you specify type and then the name of the property. I have a class customer, which also has the same structure, but it's a different name of the class, right? That's why at the bottom over here, you cannot just say customer cast equal new person. They have to be the same on the left and on the right. There are certain, um, certain exceptions if you have inheritance between classes. So, so on the left hand side, you can declare a variable for super class and on the right hand side, you can create an instance of a subclass, but let's not even go there. Simple case, different types doesn't work on the left and on the right. In TypeScript, which has structural type system, it's different. Let's take a look over here. Class person has a property name. Class customer has a property name. They have the same structure, even though they have different names. That's why at the bottom over here, you can see I declare the class, uh, declare a variable cust of type customer, but I create an instance of the object person. No errors in TypeScript. Why? Because person and customer have, have the same structure, have the same structure. Let's, uh, let's uh, look even further over here. I have, again, I have a class person with one property name. I have a class customer with one property name. At the bottom, I have two lines. And on the right hand side, I didn't even specify the name of the class. On the previous slide, at least I said new person, right? I gave it a name, I used the name. But over here, I just use object literal notation that is available in JavaScript and in TypeScript as well. I said, oh, I have a variable of type customer, but I give you a structure that conforms to the structure of the customer. Over here, I say, I declare variable of type per person. I give you an instance of the object, curly braces, right? Creating an object in JavaScript, object literal notation. So it works as well. But what if the types are uh, different? Let's go to the playground and let's try to look at this. I have a class person. I have a, I, over here, I added one extra property in the customer, age. So customer has an age property, but person doesn't. Let's take a look at the line number 10. On the left, I declare a variable of type customer, but I am trying to create an instance of the object of type person without the age, it wouldn't give me any errors because structure would be the same. But with age, it will give me an error. What is an error? Let's hold the mouse pointer over and read the text of the error. By the way, especially for junior programmers, when you see an error, don't just start panicking. Oh my God, it's an error, it's exception. I don't even know what to do, who do I call to? First of all, read the error message. You might find the explanation in there and solution for, the, for this error. Let's read it. Property age is missing in time person, but required in type customers. Let's see. 
See, I'm, they are saying that you declare the variable of type customer, but on the right hand side, you create an instance of something that doesn't have a age, an age property, right? Person doesn't have an age. So what will happen? Uh, if I, if this would work, then I should be able to say customer.age equal 29 and customer.name is equal Mary. But on the right hand side, I have an object which doesn't have a property age. It doesn't even allocate memory for it. That's why it doesn't like it. It says you will not be able to address, to access property age the way you do this. Now let's try to turn it around. Let's try to do this. I will do person on the left, but I will try to create an instance of the customer. What do you think? Will it work? Yep, no errors. Why? Because on the left hand side, I said, I'm, I need a variable of type person. What this variable should be able to address? Command control space. Just a name, all right. Do I have an object on the right hand side that has this property name? Sure, customer has a property name, so there is no conflict. And I can say customer name is equal Mary, right? So even, even when the structure is different, they, we can say in TypeScript that the object may have similar shape. And because of that, sometimes you can instantiate objects, even though the types are different on the, on the left and on the right. Uh, and again, just showing you the uh, object literal notation, instead of using new, you can just specify equal, curly braces. And what do we have in there? We have name, and the value of name is Mary. As you see over here, I didn't even use the new operator, I, I didn't use the name of the class, I just specify the structure. So the bottom line is, the bottom line is, as we say, if it looks like a duck, swims like a duck, and quacks like a duck, then it's probably a duck, right? So sometimes the structural typing in TypeScript, they call it duck typing, and this is the duck.